Go and check out my very own Rust server, IUK Island. Link in the description. Hello, my name is IUK and I spent the last week on Rust living in an unraidable base. Ah, okay. Okay, so it's been a while since one of my videos actually started on the beach. But this time, there's a reason. So I have a plan. It is going to be very hard to accomplish, but if we can do it, it's going to be so much fun. Basically this wipe, I'm, I'm going to try and build as much of an unraidable base as possible. Like a fully unraidable base doesn't exist in Rust. But this base that I have in mind is going to be as close to unraidable as possible. Like, the base is absolutely nuts. And it is going to take some time to build. So yeah, as I said, a fully unraidable base doesn't exist in Rust. But I was hoping that this base I had in mind would be intimidating enough to the point where no one would even try to raid it. I hit the road for components and made my way over to Outpost. Just one camera. <laughs> At Outpost I bought basically everything I would need for a base. I would need a lot of components for this unraidable base, especially cameras, computers and metal blades. And one of the fastest ways to get at least cameras and computers is to do the underwater labs. And so I put down my starter base next to one. This looks good. Let's get up a base here. Let's get up a 2x2. Two two. This location was very secluded, which was good because I also would need a lot of stone for the base. And so I figured this would also be a good place to farm that. Okay. So we have a base. We have that done. I do want to stone it up as quickly as possible. I'm probably just gonna go and do With that all these key cards, I could now start running the underwater labs. Take a real close look now. Uh -uh. Soon you'll realize you don't know what's coming down. I got you hit. And so, I spent the next hour or so just going back and forth between my base and underwater labs. It wasn't as good for cameras and computers as I had hoped, but it would have to do. I then spent another hour just farming stone. Hey, this is nice. This is exactly what we need. A few more runs like this and we, we can start building on the base. As I was out farming, I also found a DK base with a level 3 workbench and some more components. After farming a lot of stone, it was time to start building on the unraidable base. And so I headed over to my building spot that I picked earlier on a mountain right next to Launchite. After finishing the core of the base, it was time to start moving over some of the loot. With the stone moved, I started putting down the footprint of the outer wall. Very nice. With some wood, I just want to finish the base as much as possible before I transfer the rest of the loot. Okay, the ring is done. After finishing the outer wall, I quickly grabbed some components and headed down to launch site to recycle for metal frags. Ah. 
I now had a semi safe place to move around in and so with that I moved over the rest of the loot from the starter base. Okay, the wall is complete, but that's just like 5% of the way. <laughs> Uh, now is where, now is where the fun starts. Yeah, now is where the fun begins. And boy was I correct, because I got to spend the next two hours just farming stone. But before I built some more on the base, I started setting up the electrical system and put down some turrets so that I could start using large furnaces. Okay. <laughs> it has begun. Yeah, so the plan was to have turrets going all around this outer wall. And so we needed a lot more turrets for that. But I wanted to focus on getting up the base first, and so I continued farming for that. As I was out farming stone, I saw my neighbor's base for the first time. What the... What is this? Oh my god, okay. We live pretty close to them too. Oh no. We need to finish the base quickly. Ooh, we have tier 2 workbenches. I set up a few more turrets. And then I finished building the main parts of the base. At this point the base was really starting to take form. And well with this it was time to start filling the base up with loot. Fuck. Empty. Fuck, man. Of course, you get flanked. Let's go, we need these guns. Are you fucking... No way, man. Like, no way I get actually get fucking DB'd. That was the play, man. I headed back, but they were already leaving with the minicopter. Let's launch it, I think. Oh my god.
I started hearing a raid next to launch site and I headed over to check it out. Not the cleanest AK I've ever gotten, but an AK nonetheless. My first AK, we needed that, even though <laughs> even though we got it in a scummy way, I don't care. I needed an AK. Because our base isn't finished yet, and so it's not that strong yet. And so if someone comes, we need to be ready. We need this AK to depend with. I continued to roam around the area. What the fuck? What the... Okay. What is that? Even though the general layout of the base was finished, there was still a lot of work to be done. Like putting down metal barricades on top of the wall to secure the wall even further. But for this I would need a lot of metal blades, and so I headed down into the train tunnels. With the scrap from this run, I bought a minicopter. I crafted as many metal barricades as I could and I started placing them around the wall. But I would need a lot more if I wanted to finish it. Fuck, man. This was my first encounter with this name. Four seconds.
What the fuck? How many are there? No man! I went. I needed this stone too, so it's super nice. There's still a lot of loot. Wait, what, what was the names? Whisker. OTL. Politics. Ah, uh, this guy. Yeah, so if you haven't seen this video of mine, this name OTL means nothing to you. But I have run into them before, and it actually wasn't even my first run in with them this wipe either. I had run into them earlier at that first fight where I almost stole all that loot from them. But anyways, after dealing with OTL I heard a train go past down in the train system, and because I was in need of more metal blades I headed down to check it out.
Y sí. With this, I continued filling the wall with metal barricades. And then I spent the rest of day one just roaming. Fucking die, man! Oh, let's run with this. Fuck the AK. No, I won't take it. Never mind. Because I've been focusing so much on base, I don't have that many guns. So I really need to get this home. Like this is another full kit for the locker. Tomorrow I think I will be able to finish like the entire base, but might get raided tonight. So we have to be aware of that. Like OTL f might come and raid me honestly. I mean they're not gonna online raid me, but they might come over as I'm offline. And with this, it's the end of day one. And I have to say, I got way more done than I thought I would. Almost finishing the entire base. And so, with most of that out of the way, on day two now I could hopefully focus more on PvP. Hey, eh? what the? One of them too. Two M twos, wow, okay. I did a small raid hoping for some profits, but it was just terrible. I continued putting down turrets on the outer wall. I lost, that's the pulkit I lost. The door camper. 
exact same one. And the two stone ones I lost at the same time. Not the AK though. But getting this back is nice. My base cost a lot to upkeep and so even though I was mostly done with everything when it came to building, I still had to do a lot of farming. Okay, time to do some farming. Some early boarding farming. Yay. I'm just gonna get all the nodes around my base, there's so many. I tried taking down Helly every time it came out. That's kind of nice actually, L9, another one. Eh, not really worth it though. It's kind of meh. Cargo ship came out and I still needed all the cameras and computers I could get my hands on and so I took the minicopter I'd bought yesterday and flew over. Kidding me? I had died, but the crates still had a lot of time left on them, and so I bought another minicopter at Bandit Camp and headed back. I think they're doing oil rig at the same time. I think they left for oil rig. And yeah, so the other guy had left to finish oil rig, and so I could finish cargo in peace. I'll leave with this first and then come back. With this, I continued placing down turrets throughout the base, and I had now almost finished placing down all of the metal barricades around the wall. I headed back over to where I had started yesterday, and I did another underwater labs for the cameras and computers. We're not getting as many targeting computers though as I want. We're getting super unlucky with that, but like the rest, we're getting so many components and shit. Like so much high cool, we have like over a row of high school at home, so... Like, we don't need that. All we need is computers and cameras. And so yeah, I was really not getting as many cameras and computers as I hoped I would on these runs. I needed to find a better way of collecting these. But for now, cargo ship came out. Oh my god, what a cargo ship. What a cargo ship. 3C4, 3 AKs, turret. Bro, oh my god. Too bad no counters came, but like, I don't care. I'll take a free cargo any day. 
Now, even though cameras and computers have been hard to come by, I really think the base was starting to come together nicely. Hey, it's starting to get somewhere. We're starting to fill up the first floor. But there was still a lot of work to be done. I still needed a good way of collecting cameras and computers. And that's when I realized that I lived right next to Launchite, where Bradley the tank spawns. And he has a 50% chance of giving you a camera and a computer in each of the three crates you get after taking him down. God, Brad is so broken. This was a much faster way of getting cameras and computers. And hell is out. Oh, someone's taking it. My neighbors in that huge compound right next to mine took down Helly, and so with the new M2 from Bradley, I headed over to counter. Did you? I had a feeling I was starting to piss off the neighbor, but honestly I felt so safe in my base I headed back for seconds to piss them off even more. Jesus, I was not ready for him to come from behind. After this, I was roaming around my area when I came across a decayed base. Jesus. Only the stone was decaying, and so I decided to raid it. Oh my god. Fuck's sake. I had forgotten to bring ladders, but I made a deal with a naked outside and he boosted me out and I let him grab some of the loot. He seemed pretty nice, so I decided to help him and joined his team. And me and him went on a little adventure together. Alright, thanks man. We 
We decided to finish raiding that decade base we had both had our eyes on earlier. Bro, you scared the shit out of me, man. Have you got a better gun for me? Or any meds? Because I have literally nothing. Nice, thank you. Alright. Alright. Oh my god. Ah, Jesus. I took an inventory of the best loot and then I let him have the rest. So I can get all of this. Oh my god, I love you, man. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, dude. I really, really appreciate it. I need to try and get home, though. I really don't want to die. He seemed pretty nice. I'm okay with, like, being nice to him. Oh, yeah, sheesh, did you even get hit at all? One, two, three. No. What wait, the fuck, man? Um, yeah, okay. Wait, that's actually, the... we, can we, uh, we'll keep the explosives, okay? I'm not gonna raid with the explosives, man. Then Heli was out, and so we took that down too. Oh, yeah. I'll hold it's down. my base and help you ram in it. Is it already down? Wow, that was easy. An MP5? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> no! No, stop! Uh, I've got two bullets left. Oh no! no. I can't. Yeah, shoot him in Oh no, 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 fuck you. Normal, fuck you, don't. While it was a lot of fun messing around with Juice and his friend, it was time to get back to work. I still had some work to do on the base before it was finished. Hey, okay, now it's finally finished. <laughs> All the metal barricades are done. Now we just need the turrets. OTL started raiding a base and so I headed over to see what I could do. Fucking! I got compound boat, of course, man. <laughs> I killed all of them.
No, they come from. After this loss, I did another cargo run. With how many turrets I'd now placed around the wall, I was starting to use a lot of electricity and well, I was quickly starting to lose places for wind turbines. But with this, I had now filled the wall with turrets and so the base was now protected from any ground attacks. But I still had to protect it from air attacks. And so I headed over to outpost where I bought two SAM sites. And after this I felt pretty accomplished. The base was looking pretty unraidable to me. Now I was of course going to keep adding more turrets whenever I got my hands on cameras and computers, but it was now time to start having some fun. God, what a fucking Bradley! A fellow content creator and streamer were playing on the same server as me, and well, he was about to see my base for the first time. Wait, you guys think he's solo? Wanna try to make a play on them? This motherfucker's solo! He's actually solo, chat. This motherfucker has to be fucking alone in Tokyo 2.0 fucking beast mode, fragger, dude. Holy shit. Thank you to Chief Lewis for letting me use his POV and make sure that you go and check out his stream. But please be respectful if you do.
when you see this storm is brewing. Monica. Oh my god. Two more M2s. What the fuck? I spent the next day just taking Heli and Bradley. Nice, bro. We're starting to get so much loot. It's actually crazy <laughs> how good it's going. What a shot! I couldn't even see it. Jesus! Fucking hell! Wow, what a complete garbage heli, a fucking reinforced glass window, what the fuck, why can't you even get that, that's so dumb. <laughs> I should fucking start selling all my L96s. Like, I don't need them. I was starting to feel really safe in my big base. And so, when another decent sized base popped up right down the hill from me, I felt like that could be a threat to my security, and so I raided it.
And yeah, my base was safe. But something was starting to happen to me. You see, I didn't do this raid for the loot inside or for revenge. I actually don't even think I fought against these guys once this wipe. And even if I don't wanna admit it, I really just raided them because I could. And that is a sentence I have said many times before. So, why did they raid us? Well, short version, because they could. But never could I have thought I would use it on myself. This is the first wipe ever I've actually felt safe, like I couldn't be touched. And I was abusing that power. And usually I'm the one that sets out to take people like this down. Another day went by and I just kept up this attitude, abusing the power that this base had given me. After all, I was not going to take down myself, and so who would? <laughs> Almost died. That's enough. How the fuck? Uh... 
What the fuck? Are you kidding me, bro? Sake, man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Good get an angle. You can't look up and back. Did he know? Well, as I said, no base is unraidable. And this is proof of that. But that was a nice ending. I like that. I wouldn't have wanted this to end any other way. Of course, my unraidable base ends with it getting raided. That's just poetry, honestly. I had it coming. In this story, I became the big bad that needed to be taken down and showed that no one is untouchable. And the two groups merged together to make sure that that happened. One of them being the ones that I offline raided not even 24 hours ago, getting their well-deserved revenge on me. And before you dislike the video because my base wasn't unraidable, clearly. As I said in the beginning of all this, a fully unraidable base doesn't exist in Rust. And even though I thought that this base was at least intimidating enough to the point where no one would try to raid it. Maybe you just shouldn't feel safe in Rust. Isn't knowing that all your loot could be lost what gives your wipe meaning? What makes those pixels actually worth something? I hope you guys enjoyed this new style of video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe and leave a like on it. Also, leave any feedback on how I can improve my videos down in the comment section. Also, I'm closing in on a thousand followers on Twitter and so make sure that you go and follow me over there. You can also join my Discord server for channel updates or if you just wanna chat with me. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and goodbye.